talk about how to calibrate the DR6 to that reading paragraph. First thing we want to do is take the unit out of the box, assemble the vial tree, connect the power cord, the mouse, and the keyboard, and turn the unit on. Once the unit is powered up, the blue software screen will appear. Next, we want to use the mouse to click on the calibration tab in the upper left-hand corner. Next, we want to take the middle slide button and move it all the way to the top of the screen, making sure all three are at the top of the slide bar. Once the numbers are in range, tighten down the Allen head screws so that the block stays in place. Next, we want to move the slider bar down until the L or the S number is in the 1600 range. Once the L or the S are in the 1600 range, use the left or the right slider bar and the keyboard up and down buttons to adjust with finer adjustment. Move each button until the L and the S numbers are within 10 of each other. Once both are within the 1600 range and within 10 of each other, press exit and stop to save your numbers. Go back to the main screen by hitting the run DR tab in the upper left. You're now ready to run a test. In order to assure that calibration is valid, we want to use density filters. There are three different density filters, a 0.1, a 0.2, and a 0.3. We'll run a standard test with each one of these, assuring that they fall within the DO and the DS range stated in the instruction manual. To run a standard test, hit the standard button in the lower left hand corner. Hit the start button to start the test. Waiting for oil will come up in the center of the screen. Insert the spacer on the right hand side of the magnetic block. Put the 0.1 density filter inside the block and pull it out immediately. The numbers will move up and down briefly, indicating that the oil is there. It'll say waiting on the end of oil in the center of the screen. Insert the 0.1 density filter back into the block. Once the numbers have leveled out, these are your numbers, record them as necessary. Assure that they fall between the 31 and 38 range stated in the instruction manual. If they do not fall within this range, the magnetic block needs to be readjusted and the calibration needs to be redone. Hit stop exit as your test is completed. Remove the spacer, remove the 0.1 filter. Repeat this process with 0.2 and 0.3 density filters. Remember that when inserting and removing density films, failure to remove films during sensor zeroing will cause L and S readings to be 30 points lower than expected. Once the 0.1, 0.2, and 0.3 density filters fall within the range located in your manual, your unit is calibrated and ready for oil testing. If you have any questions during your DR calibration, please contact Trico Corporation for additional assistance.